Hi guys, Gleeter here. So, this is a video about PSO. Those of you who know PSO probably can recognize that by what you're looking at right now. And I, I wanted to do this for a little while, and basically I wanted to do, I think the word is a retrospective on what was right and what is obviously wrong with the forest level that I sort of threw together in almost uh, three years ago, 2015, and nowadays I, I do a lot of Unity stuff, and you, most of the stuff that I put out is only a couple hundred draw calls, very low Triss count, runs quite well, uses forward rendering path with baked lighting, and <laughs> none of that is the case here, because several years ago I was very bad and wouldn't even have known what most of those things were. So, firstly, one thing that was done right, and I can't really take much credit for it, is I was able to find a hodgepodge of assets around the internet back then from either Unity, Unreal, or various vegetation packs that sort of came together nice and fit the needs of Forest and it didn't really stand out too much. For example, this rock. It doesn't stand out very much. It looks like it belongs. These trees, you know, they're quite heavy. They don't look correct compared to the original source, but they look okay. Uh, this was probably my luckiest find. This is a... Oh gosh, I'm not sure. Um... Oh look, there's a bird up there, that's cute. Uh, so this was actually from Unreal Engine, it was a photo scan, and it almost fit exactly what was what was needed for this little stump here, and these, these little roots right here as well. They, this honestly was probably one of the luckiest things, like, to, this for this to have existed was quite lucky. And you can tell that there's still some unreplaced stuff from from the Dreamcast, but all in all, you know, looks looks okay. You know, this from some random vegetation pack. Same with this, you know, looks looks okay. But it really just sort of fit. It looked right. God, that's annoying. Um So yeah, one thing one thing that's not doesn't look so good in, in hindsight are these rocks. They don't look terrible but all in all, I never really solved the issue of how to do, how to replace like the base level. Never, I tried a few things, never came up with a good solution for it. There's a lot of things I'd redo if given the chance. For example, I would make, you know, actually do some fake lighting, get some interesting GI, you know, some a better lighting than what we have right now, which is just direct lighting. We get some baked shadows, and it perform much nicer. We'll probably replace these trees. A bit too heavy. Nowadays, I care quite a bit about performance. Um, back then, I wasn't, wasn't too smart about that. But yeah, so ba back in 2015, this was probably the best thing I ever created. And it ran and it ran decently for for me back then. At least that's what I thought. This water was was fun. It's just some. It's actually just some Perlin Perlin noise scrolling across a very smooth surface, and the distortion that you see isn't actually distortion or like a grab pass. Below that, we're actually doing a uh, UV distortion based on another Perlin noise map. And, um... Yeah, so that gives the sort of... I think the words refraction. I'm not sure. Anyway, so... That was a clever little thing that I did back then. This is nothing special now, but... Yeah, this really brings back some memories. Um... This was... This was fun. This was a, a cone shaft 
where I I pillaged most of the stuff that you see here. And it was just a little light beam that imitated the fake volumetrics from from uh, Forest. And that was that was a great find. And nowadays you can actually do real-time volumetrics, but this is actually faked. But it works quite nicely. So yeah, you know, I thought I'd have more to say, but really the whole thing was I got pretty lucky with what I could find. And it sort of just all came together nicely. You know, it didn't run great. It still doesn't run great. Um, but, yeah, you know, after three years, you sort of learn a few things. I've never gone back and really touched it up. But yeah, you guys might have might have wondered where this went. I finally found it last night, the actual scene. Yeah, it was actually missing. And I just wanted to go in and really just, ooh, really take a look at it. It's been a while. It's nostalgic to me, too. I, I do like, I do like this. This is... Oh yeah, that bird. That was such a good idea. I think I got that from Unreal Engine as well. Just put those up there and they sort of just fly by. You, you can't get this close to them, so it looks pretty good from down here. It's just like a bird flying by. It's pretty sick. Yeah, the waterfall never came out good. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff I'd redo and there's a lot of unsolved problems. But all in all, I think... For what I knew back in 2015, came out, came out pretty good. I, you know, it's okay. I can do much better. But yeah, that's uh, there's gonna be some PSO stuff soon. I'm working on some stuff tonight related to loading uh, levels and stuff, loading the level variations. That's gonna allow me to go down to Forest soon on the client, the emulated client. So look out for that. I'll post a video as soon as I get that working. But that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching, guys, and indulging me on a, a double nostalgia trip. Because not only am I nostalgic about Fantasy Star Online, but I'm also nostalgic about the years ago when I first sat down and, and built this. And it really just... I don't know. It's I feel nostalgic about even building this now. It's very weird. It was so long ago. I would like to build the rest of these levels one day, but for now we have to focus on packet implementation, understanding the packets, uh, adding basic handlers for them in Unity, and getting the basic interaction so we can, you know, create a PSOBB emulated client. And that work is work's being done on that. Don't worry about that. What are these? Oh yeah, these are little dust, little like sparks or dust. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking with that. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Where's that capsule? There used to be capsule here. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. That's all. That's all that's going to be in the video for today. Hopefully, you know. Hopefully, you guys liked it a little bit. Um, don't take too much meaning from this. You know, it doesn't mean I'm working on forest. It have been worked on for years at this point. It just felt like maybe it deserved a, another look. I really am lucky that a lot of these assets sort of fit the needs. And really, I can't, I can't exaggerate how well and how lucky I was, how well these fit in, and how lucky I was to find these these photo scan stumps. I, I couldn't be luckier. But thanks for watching, guys. One day we'll probably have a forest. It'll probably look five times as good as this. One day. Until then, I have to work on the client. So I'm going to go do that now. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video.